Hey, what's up guys? It's Barbara Botain. I'm back with another video. This is my highlight and contour routine. I know I show it in sort of show it but I just kind of speed through it in most of my videos but this is going to be more of an in-depth showing you what products I use and you know kind of my techniques and especially what which brushes I use so if you want to see how I got it uh just keep on watching guys bye all right guys so I already have my foundation on and the foundation I'm wearing is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation and the Revlon Color Stay in Caramel 400 and I'm wearing both of those now I'm going to take my concealer and it's the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the color number D Deep 36 and I'm going to pat that in my under eye area um, and I'm going to stretch my skin to avoid um, putting products in the creases and that is very important so I'm going to continue to pat that um, with my finger under my eyes like so then I'm going to take the excess concealer and I'm going to run it down the bridge of my nose and I'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow and when you're doing it down your nose you want to be careful that you don't make the, that line too wide because I see a lot of people make that mistake and um, they end up making their nose appear bigger and I put a little bit on my chin as well um, in the center of my chin um, be careful not to make that line too big as well then what I'm going to do is take my real stippling brush and this is a, such an awesome brush um, and this is a major key y'all you have to blend your highlight colors you have to blend them because I find that I see a lot of people um, whether makeup artists or just normal people they forget this step they kind of just put concealer on their face and you just kind of see it on their face and it's like not blended at all especially if they use really light colors now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder and uh, my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and I'm going to pat that under my eyes I'm stretching my skin again in the same way I was doing it before with the cream concealer and the color of the pressed powder is 35 coconut and I'm going to pat that under my eyes you want to make sure you get the very corners and creases of your um, concealer so it doesn't crease up on you at all throughout the day and I'm going to highlight the center of my nose once again we're just pretty re pretty much repeating the steps that I did with the concealer I'm gonna do that same thing with the powder my cupid's bow in the middle of my chin as well next thing I'm doing is gonna take my Crown Brushes C473 Pro Contour Brush in my MAC Studio Tech in NW47 and I'm going to put that in there and as you can see I use that powder real that foundation really good and if you're uh, someone of a chocolate complexion like me you really want to go get that foundation it's so deep and it does not move on your skin at all it's a very 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 good product and I'm just you know uh, making those lines in my cheekbones and I'm kind of going um, under the balls of my cheeks now these are um, that's my real techniques expert face brush and I'm just going to uh, contour cream contour my forehead just the part that's gonna show because I do have a bang um, so I'm just doing that one side and I'm kind of pressing that product in and then I'm going to blend the other contour lines I made in my cheekbones with that same expert face brush by Real Techniques. And this is very important as well. You need to blend out whatever you put down, you need to blend it. And then I just went under my nose a little bit and then I'm just going to do the other side. I'm pretty much bringing the product upwards. Don't ever bring the product downwards because that would defeat the purpose of contouring because you would make me making your face look bigger rather than smaller and I'm just going back in with that brush to redefine the contour lines if they got blurred with the um, blending process then I'm taking my black with pressed powder and rich mahogany with a real techniques contour brush 
and I'm going to lightly dust that on my forehead to set the areas that I contoured. And you'll need to set the places that you put down cream products because that will make it last all day long. And you kind of just need to do it. It's just part of the makeup process. Yeah. And I'm um, following the same steps that I did with the cream products. So I'm going to do that with the uh, powder products. Now, of course, I'm going to bring the product upwards, like I said before, um, because bringing it downwards would defeat the purpose. What I do is I'm dusting that powder along my jawline area, the excess, and then I'm going to take my Root Miracle Complexion sponge and just define the contour lines uh, with powder, just with my powders, my face powder and my highlight powder. I'm not going to just use the highlight powder because that would be too light and it would be hard to blend. Then I'm taking my Pro Contour Brush by Crown and I'm just pretty much shading in my nose. I'm not going crazy. And you have to be careful to not make take that line way too far apart because a lot of people make that mistake. Keep it close to your highlight lines, boys and girls. Now I'm going to clean up my contour lines and this is very important if you kind of mess up. I'm going to use my face powders that I used before just to clean up the sides with the Miracle Complexion sponge. Then I am going to use my powder brush, my real techniques to blend everything in. This is essential guys. The powder is C8 uh, L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to blend in the nose contours, I'm going to blend in the cheeks, I'm going to blend in the highlight, I'm going to blend all the edges and I'm also going to set the rest of my face where I have the um, liquid foundation on at the same time it's important to set everything so that it lasts and nothing is like moving around on your face and um, I'm also dusting under my eye with my regular face powder just so nothing is too light for my complexion then I'm going to take my uh, shimmer highlight this is the Mary Luminizer awesome 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 highlight and I'm just going to do the tip of my nose in my cupid's bow because I have too much texture on my cheeks and I just, yeah, I just can't do that right now. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. And All right, boys and girls, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I hope that you learned something especially. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and follow me on all of my social networks. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, and bye. See ya.